Okay, hello everybody. Today we are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Cessna Skyhawk. We have a 78 nautical mile flight from November 14 Flying W to 3 November 6 Old Bridge. We'll be flying VFR using visual references and VOR navigation to get there and it should be a nice scenic flight along the shoreline. So let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. Flying W is a really interesting airport, and I'll tell you why we're flying out of it in the flight brief. We're also flying with the November 4378 Quebec livery that I downloaded from flightsim.to. It's based on a real-life aircraft that's flown in the South Bend, Indiana Flying Club. Okay, we'll run through the flight brief as we get everything set up here on the Cessna. We are taking off from November 14, Flying W, which is an untowered airport east of Philadelphia. It's nestled right underneath the Philly Bravo. Uh, the Bravo shelf itself starts at 3,000, and then there is a second shelf that we'll need to fly through that starts at 4,000, so we need to stay underneath those altitudes on our departure. We've also got some complicated airspace around us. Immediately, we'll encounter the Alpha 220 MOA, so that's a military operations area. You can find information about it in the margins of the sectional. So when we look it up, the MOA is valid up to 4,500 altitude and pretty much is active all day and it has no controlling agency. So we could contact the controlling agency if it had one to uh, get advisories while passing through it, uh, but it doesn't. So best we could do is ask for flight falling uh, from center uh, or approach once we get in the air. We've got multiple deltas around us, and there's also a restricted space, so we'll stay clear of those. So on departure, we're going to use the coil VOR and fly heading of 124 to it, and once we overfly it, we will change our heading to 113 from it. That should take us right to Barnegat Lighthouse on the shore. That's a nice visual waypoint. Uh, from there, we're going to fly along the shoreline. Our heading will be 021 and we will use visual references. So we've got two nice lakes uh, ahead of us. The first is Shark River. That's easily visible from the shoreline and in the area of Monmouth. Once we get that in sight, we'll turn heading 336 and fly to the Colts Neck VOR. Uh, right at the VOR, the second river is Swimming River Reservoir. And uh, both the VOR and that visual waypoint will be our uh, indicator to turn. So we'll fly heading 288, and that should take us right to the airport. Old Bridge has right pattern traffic for the runway that we are expecting to land on, so we're going to overfly the airport at pattern altitude plus 500 feet, do a teardrop turn, enter the right downwind, and then land at Old Bridge. The reason that I chose Flying W is because a viewer stumbled upon my channel and watched one of my Atlantic City flights. In it, I was streaming real-life live ATC in the background, and uh, a real-life Cherokee was flying around. He was the Cherokee, so it was really cool that he happened to stumble upon himself in the background of one of my videos, and he left a comment that he flies out of Flying W. I've been flying out of the airports that are near Philadelphia, and I hadn't flown out of Flying W, so I decided to check it out. And when I did, you can see that there's a strange airplane shape in the satellite photo right in the Microsoft Flight Simulator airport. So when you go to Google Maps, there it is. What is that big blue airplane shape? It's a swimming pool. So Flying W is a really interesting airport. They've got a web page. I'll put the link for that too. It was built in the 1960s by Bill Whitesell, which is where the W comes from. He wanted it to be a place for air transportation services uh, to be able to stay while the Alaskan pipeline was being built. And he also wanted it just to be a fun place where you could dine outside, have a restaurant, bar, cafe, stay in the motel, swim in the airplane-shaped swimming pool. It looks like a really fun place, and I'd love to go there. I love that you are splashing around in a swimming pool not far from the runway watching uh, aircraft land. So very cool, Flying W. In our last flight, we used the steam gauge version of this aircraft. Today, we're using the G1000 version. Although we have the G1000, we're not actually using the GPS. Instead, we'll be using VOR frequencies and setting it to VOR1 and VOR2 mode, uh, or flying headings or visually navigating. We'll make our CTAF call, flying W traffic, Cessna 4378 Quebec, taxi runway 19er, flying W.
this is the default scenery uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope someone with some skills makes Flying W because it would be an awesome airport. We are streaming live ATC from McGuire Approach, uh, which is the nearby towered field. Go through a quick run up. Flying W traffic, Cessna 4378 Quebec, departing runway 19er, straight out departure, climbing 5,000 to 500, Flying W. Getting a little squirrely here on the ground. Rotate and whoa! <laughs> We're going vertical. All right, that was uh, that was not the way to take off. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know what happened there. I must have hit the afterburners. All right, so uh, let's get ourselves stabilized, clear of the trees. We'll uh, bring our flaps up as we pass 300 feet. Okay, we're on track. Let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery. Once again, a fun scenic VFR flight, a lot of photogrammetry, both around Philly and near Old Bridge. I just installed the world update and uh, you probably noticed that I'm getting really low frame rates, so I'll try to figure that out. Sorry if this looked a little slideshow-ish uh, for you guys as you're watching, so bear with me. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks a lot for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.